this is Captain Chaudhary. Today I want to speak to you about marketer selling or rum line selling. What is this marketer selling? Marketer selling is a selling typical on a marketer chart. It gives us such a convenient way of finding out the course and distance or destination when we work on marketer chart. Marketer chart as you know is a user friendly chart. So the formula used in marketer selling, we will try to stick to the practical part of it. The formula used in marketer selling are only two. You do not use any third formula, right? So the two formulae that are used are number one, D long upon DMP is equal to tan course. That is formula number one. And second formula is the same as plain selling formula. That is D lat into sec course is equal to distance. If you look at the marketer chart, right, you will find that the D long are equally spaced, but the D lat are at increasing space as you go from equator towards the pole, right. This gap keeps increasing, but this D long gap is uniform. Suppose we are talking about a certain latitude x degrees on a marketer chart. If you divide 1 degree D long, this is 1 degree D long. If you divide 1 degree D long in small, small parts, that is 60 parts. And if you at x degree latitude, divide 1 degree into 60 parts, you will find that this spacing between 1 minute of latitude is more than this spacing, which is 1 minute of the D long. This is called one meridional part on the marketer chart. What is the meaning of meridional part actually on a marketer chart? So the practical explanation to that is if you cut the longitude scale, then every minute is uniform on the longitude scale. And by the way, on a marketer chart, every minute of the marketer chart is of different dimensions. It is unequal. None of the two parts are equal in size. Now, if this is x degrees latitude and if I want to find out, I know the spacing of one minute and if I know the spacing of one minute of longitude on this marketer chart and if I want to find out what is the spacing between adjacent minute in x degrees latitude, then you know that this gap of longitude is smaller, this gap is bigger from smaller to big, the relationship is secant. That means this smaller gap that is one minute of meridional part or one minute of longitude or meridional part if I multiply it by secant of x degrees I will get this gap. That is the relationship between the one minute of longitude on a marketer chart to every minute of latitude on that uh, marketer chart. So that is the relationship, right? So if I cut this longitude scale and I paste from equator to x degrees, once again if I cut the longitude scale and paste it right from the equator till x degrees. So how many divisions of longitude scales will fit here or how many meridional parts will fit here is called the meridional part of x degrees which can be found out from the meridional part table. That means if we talk about the difference in meridional part of any two latitudes, right, we will be getting the number of meridional parts that will fit between the two latitudes. So actually meridional part is one minute of D long, right? So D long and DMP, they are from the same category, same family. Okay. So D long upon DMP is equal to tan course. Let us do one numerical based on this. So let there be a, a latitude A, which is 11 degrees north and 140 degrees west. From there, you want to go to uh, latitude B, which is 31 degrees north and uh, let us say 160 degrees east. So which way you are traveling? So to find out which way you are traveling from 140 degrees, logically thinking 140 degrees to reach 160 degrees east, the person must have gone via dateline that is 180 degrees, which is east as well as west. So from 140 degrees west, he must have first gone to 180 degrees west. So from 140 degrees west, you have gone to higher westerly longitude. That means basically he was traveling westwards. So even after crossing the date line, he must be traveling westwards. Yes. So if you are going on a higher westerly longitude, you are traveling west. 
and from 180 degrees east to reach 160 degrees east the easterly potential is reducing that means you are going west okay other method of finding out whether you are going east or west what I said is to find out d long if it is different name you add and give the name of the final 300 and 300 degrees east is the d long but you can't have a d long more than 180 degrees so what you do is subtract from 360 and change the name so actually d long is 60 degrees west this is the d long right and between these latitudes i want to find out what is the dmp let us find out the dmp the latitudes are 11 degrees north we'll see what is the mp and then 31 degrees north we'll see what is the mp and then we will find out the dmp let's look at uh, the meridional part tables 11 degree is 659.63 659.63 and then for 31 degrees it is 1945.96 So uh, DMP is one two eight six point three three. Now tan cos is equal to D long upon DMP. D long is sixty degrees, that means three thousand six hundred divided by DMP, that is twelve eighty six point three three. So course will be 3600 divided by 1286.33 equal to 70.34 70.34 and this course is northwest not 70.34 west. So we have used one formula that is D long upon DMP is equal to tan course. The second formula is distance is equal to D lat into sec course. D lat is 20 degrees that is 1200 minutes into sec course means 1 upon cos 70.34 so that is 1200 divided by cos 70.34 degrees that makes 3566.78 distance is equal to 3566.78 Seven eight miles. So this is how, uh, in a very simple way, we were able to find out uh, the course and the distance. There are only two formulae to be used. One, d long upon dmp is equal to tan course. Other one is d lat into sec course is equal to distance. Now let's deal with another situation where you start off with one point and you want to steer a course for so many miles. You want to know where you would reach. So let us say we started with say for example 4 degrees north that is 04 degrees north and uh, 96 degrees 12 minutes east and we want to travel something like uh, 5000 miles and uh, the course to steer a course that will be steered is say for example north uh, 40 degrees east what is the final position out of these two formulae which formula you can use d long upon dmp is equal to tan course and d lat into sec course is equal to distance which formula you can use now you know the distance and you know the course you can probably find out the d lat okay we will use that formula so d lat is equal to distance upon sec course that is distance into cos course so whatever is the distance that is 5000 miles multiplied by cos of course that is 40 degrees that will give you d lat and the d lat is 3830.22 3830.22 
63 degrees 50.2 minutes 63 degrees 50.2 minutes which means that if the latitude left was 4 degrees north and you traveled 63 degrees 50.2 minutes north you are going to reach 67 degrees 50.2 minutes north so in other words you have the two latitudes one is the initial latitude and final latitude so you are doing Mercator sailing so as soon as you have the latitude you find out what are the meridional parts so I go to the meridional part table for 4 degrees the meridional part is 238.56 4 degrees 238.56 and then there is this final latitude 67 degrees 50.2 67 degrees uh, you have 67 degrees and it would be uh, I'll take approximate value as 5582.52 uh, 5582.52 5582.52 you know the final latitude that is 67 degrees 50.2 minutes so same name the rules are same for DMP so DMP between the initial and final latitude would be 5343.96 and we have the formula D long upon DMP is equal to tan course so D long should be equal to 5343.96 into tan 40 so 5343.9 into tan 40 degrees that gives me 4484.1 right that is a d long 4484.1 and that is equal to 74 degrees 44.1 this 74 degrees 44.1 minutes is easterly d long that means from a certain easterly longitude we went more east that means you should add the two when we added the two we got a longitude 170 degrees 56.1 minutes east so final latitude is 67 degrees 50.2 and final longitude is 170 degrees 56.1 minutes east so this is how I have shown you both the situations of a Mercator sailing. One is to find out what is the course and distance and another one is to find out the final position.